emotions are going through your head? Uh, a lot of emotions, obviously. I mean, obviously, it's senior day uh, to be able to go out there, uh, play my last game in Notre Dame Stadium. Definitely is going to be very emotional for myself and for my family, friends coming out to the game. Uh, it's going to be a special moment. We're hoping to gonna rally together, and we're going to have a play a great game. It's going to be, hopefully, great weather, south end weather for everyone. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. We're excited. We, we never wonder how the the weather affects you does it does it ever affect you the rain the um yeah hurricane? really yeah definitely yeah definitely the hurricane that was definitely one where i really had to focus on you know making sure i um really harnessed on my craft um but for the most part if it's rain uh snow uh hot or cold i'm pretty much uh ready to go no matter what it's definitely a mindset you have to go out there and just trust yourself and trust your um your practice and just everything you've put in to do great. You call it a craft, and really for you it is because mm -hmm. how long have you been doing this? Like since fifth grade? I've been or? doing this since fifth grade, yeah. So it turns out, I mean, no one really dreams of being a long snapper for the most part. You kind of just fall into it. And uh, <laughs> that was the same thing that happened for me. I just was really the only kid that can throw it back there, you know, just halfway decent. And uh, sophomore year, my sophomore coach, Mark Wiggins, uh, took an interest in me. He kicked it to Illinois State and he knew specialists and said that, hey, if you want to be good, you can you know, work at this and go to college and I took his advice and started going to camps Chris Rubio long snapping and he, he got me here today so tell us about Chris Rubio I mean we always hear that with mm -hmm. long snappers and stuff yeah. what what makes him the guru of long snappers <laughs> I mean he's just so personable I mean he he was a teacher before he started getting to long snapping and his partner Chris Saylor uh, ran the kicking side of things and he said one day I said hey I got a couple about five or six long snappers come out to my national camp in Vegas you want to come help out teach them a couple things and that was about 12 years ago and ever since then he's gotten bigger and bigger and built connections with college coaches and now he's really really pegged himself as you know the guy really the guru like you said people who who really have aspirations to play college ball really go to him as he he really knows what he's doing. He's done this for such a long time, and he has connections with coaches that are going to help guys, you know, chase their dreams. How do you kind of, being a specialist, how do you kind of integrate yourself into being more than just a specialist, not being off, you know, because yeah. I know, like, Brenza would tackle people. How do you, oh, yeah. how do yeah. you deal with that? No, for sure. I think uh, just our, our whole specialist group just hold uh, each other to a high standard. We just try to be not only the best specialists, but the best football players that we can be. And that's just trying to be um, as well-rounded as possible. And that's just the, the kind of athletes that, that people uh, recruit here at Notre Dame. We try to just be the best that we can on and off the field. And in terms of football specifically, I, mean, I try to – Snap the ball as best I can, but also be the best athlete running down the coverage, making sure I get big in field goal and PATs and just be the best long snapper I can be. So.